Hi, and welcome to Faith into Greatness. Today, the Lord inspired me to talk about having truly surrendered your life to Jesus Christ. This message is for people who have surrendered their lives to Jesus, and you're still walking around in fear. If this sounds like you, I want to walk you through the process of growing in faith and trust and surrendering to Jesus so that you can have a peaceful life. I remember when I first surrendered my heart to Jesus Christ, I wasn't sure if I was actually protected. I wasn't sure if Jesus had me. I wasn't sure if I could truly trust in God's plan, trust in Jesus. And it took me a decade to figure out that I could trust in Jesus, I could trust in God's plan, and that yes, Jesus has my back. So if this sounds like you, Perhaps you're new to the faith, or maybe you're not new to the faith. Perhaps many things have happened, and you thought you surrendered your life to Jesus, but the truth is that maybe you've fallen off. Maybe in some way you've lost that faith and that trust. So let's chat about some things that could be keeping you back from truly surrendering to Jesus in your life. One thing I want to share with all of you is I really encourage you to stay in prayer. When you pray, you could pray even without opening your mouth and praying. You could pray with your mind and your heart to the Lord. And as we continue to focus on Jesus and focus on, on God in prayer, you have no choice but to think about God. And in that moment when you're surrendering and thinking about God, you are trusting God and you're allowing God to move in your life to show you that you have nothing to fear at all. Allow yourself the opportunity to grow in your prayer and through prayer, your connection with God will become stronger to the point where you will feel safe trusting Another tip I want to give is read the scripture. Knowledge is power. When you have knowledge, when you spend time in meditation reading God's scriptures, reading what God's promises are to you when you're obedient, reading what God expects from you, you will only be strengthening what? Yourself and what? Your connection to the Lord. It's so important that you meditate on the scripture and the word so that you are constantly in reminder of God's expectations of you and God's promises to you. So you could stay what? In good cheer and be of good cheer. No matter what happens in this life, it's hard to understand God's plan. But as you grow in your connection with the Lord and as you stay in God and God remains in you, God will show you what's happening, what's unfolding. But most importantly, may the peace of Jesus be upon you. I know for me, it took some rough circumstances. It took me being stalked for almost a decade by people, even having to go so far as to tell my family members not to connect with me on social media. I've gone so far as to not even list prior jobs and employment because of what's happened to me. I'm following the Lord's lead. God has told me to tell my family members to not even like my social media posts, to not comment, and to not even make an appearance until the appointed time that God has desired for them to make an appearance in my life. You need to be able to walk with the Lord so you can hear God's discernment in this way, so you can trust in God's plan to know God's got you. It took some difficult circumstances to teach me about faith and trusting in God. So if you're going through hard times, you've gone through difficult times, don't let that bitterness and resentment take root in your spirit. God needed that to teach you how to walk in faith and how to really trust the Lord because people don't trust. I hope this message blesses you all as you grow in your strength and your faith and your conviction and trusting in God. Know that God's got you. And know that when you surrender to God and you say, God, I trust and have faith in you. The Lord hears you. The Lord's not going to drop you and ignore you. God's going to stand by your side and never forsake you. And the Lord will strengthen you. I hope this message blesses you all. May you truly surrender to the Lord so that 
God's love can drive out any fear within you and so that your faith can grow and be strong like a tree. Take care and God bless.